What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon ADC, and today I'm checking out the Civivi Conspirator. Um, super excited to check this knife out um, because I recently got the Protec Malibu, and um, this kind of reminds me a little bit of it. It's not a direct clone by any means or anything like that, but a lot of the same features, you know, the flipper tab and the button lock um, that the Protec Malibu has, uh, but at a much more budget friendly cost. The Protec Malibu. Uh, the one I have was $260, um, and this is $79.90 at Blade HQ right now, so you can get it just under $80. There's a few different versions of it. Um, I got the green micarta handle with the uh, black stone wash um, finish, and um, it's $80. They go up a little bit in price. There's a kind of wood-handled one, a Damascus version, but um, overall you're not going to be spending a whole lot. Um, no matter which model you get, so um, very reasonably priced. And um, this is a full full length uh, button lock. Um, they have, you know, some of the other versions are a little bit smaller, um, but this is pretty sizable at 8.11 inches overall. It's got a three and three quarters inch blade with a three and a half inch cutting surface and a 4.63 inch handle, and it weighs in at a 3.82 ounces. Um, so it is a nice size knife, um, very large, fits well in the hands. Um, I can get a full four finger grip with a little bit of room to spare. Um, so really nice uh, nice feeling in the hands. It's got that kind of typical Civivi pocket clip. Um, I know some people don't love it. Um, works well on this knife. I don't feel it at all when I'm kind of gripping down tight on it. Um, it's not really a hot spot for me. Um, but I know it's not everyone's favorite, but it is a deep carry tip up and it is reversible. Um, so it's not like uh, set into the handle like some knives. So it does stick up just a little bit there. Um, I know some people do prefer that just so it doesn't catch on that very kind of last bit there. Um, but um, not so bad either. I don't use pocket clips a ton, especially on um, larger knives, just because the uh, knife laws in LA are so kind of crazy that um, if you get pulled over by the wrong cop, you're gonna, they might say that that's open carry and you can't open carry anything, um, anything over three inches. So um, I don't typically pocket carry larger knives anyway. Um, so I may just end up removing that. Um, but if you do, just something to keep in mind. Um, so it does have this kind of a green micarta handle. Um, I could probably oil this one up a little bit. It's kind of got a weird like faded look to it right now. Um, still super nice looking, but um, ooh, almost dropped it there. Um, but it does look a little bit faded. So I think it'll look really nice if I can oil that up a little bit. Um, but it does have this flipper tab as well as you can open it with the button lock just by kind of flipping it open, um, which is fun to do. And then it has this fuller here, um, so you can kind of flick it open. I may or may not be able to. Yeah, there we go. Um, so you can spidey flick it open. Um, I'm not the greatest at spidey flicking and I'm able to do it. So um, if you are decent at it in any way, you should be able to as well. And I did want to, um, while I have it out, just kind of compare it to um, the Protect Malibu um, because I did talk about that. Um, so as you can see, it's a little bit larger, obviously um, different blade styles. You have the drop point here versus the um, reverse Tonto here. Different blade styles, a um, little bit thinner profile, but um, kind of very similar, you know, you have the button lock and the flipper tab and uh, the actions even are pretty similar. Um, but this one's gonna cost you almost three times as much as this one. Um, and so closed, obviously, a little bit bigger footprint as well, thicker, just slightly longer, um, but pretty comparable in size. And then of course the uh, Malibu doesn't have that fuller opening, so you only have the two opening methods. But overall, kind of very, very comparable. Um, I think the, uh, the Malibu looks a little bit better, um, less kind of uh, screws on the show side, so um, it's a little bit smoother looking. Obviously, um, that comes at the expense of being a reversible pocket clip, so you can't reverse this one. And the uh, Conspirator is a little bit more deep carry. Um, this one, close, uh, but doesn't go fully to the edge where the Conspirator does. Um, so this one's a little bit deeper, but it's negligible difference, they're pretty similar. Um, <clears throat> But overall, I mean, the action on these are kind of amazing. Um, it flips out well, as you'd expect, um, but that button lock works 
perfectly. Um, I just got another button lock in and it sticks a little bit. This one doesn't really at all. Um, the action's super smooth and uh, you can just kind of flick it all day, which is always fun with any knife. Um, I always say at this point, um, I have enough knives that fun is a pretty big factor in whether or not I like a knife. Um, if it's fidgety, something I like to play with, um, I'll flip these around all day when I'm in the like teams or Zoom meetings, um, obviously off camera. Um, if I'm on camera, I'm probably not fl flicking a knife, but um, I'll kind of sit in meetings and just play with these and overall just drive my wife crazy. And um, I feel like, you know, obviously, this is made in America, this is made in China, and you're getting better materials. This is that um, CPM uh, S20V, whereas this is a Nitro V steel. The textured aluminum handles versus the green micarta handles, made in America versus made in China. But I feel like you're still getting 85 to 90% of what you're getting with the Malibu for 35% of the cost, 33% of the cost, maybe something like that. Um, and so if you just want kind of a fun knife, um, button lock and fidget friendly, um, full size knife that you can play with that's easy enough to sharpen, holds this edge really well. Um, I feel like this Conspirator is a really good knife. Um, I think this is relatively new. I didn't realize it at the time I bought it. I had done kind of a larger order on Blade HQ, um, including uh, one other button lock that I'll be reviewing in the next week or two, um, and a few other knives, but um, I didn't realize at the time, and then when I went to do my research, I saw that a lot of YouTubers kind of put out videos on these recently. So they're definitely floating around. Um, but really enjoyed this knife so far. I've been kind of uh, fidgeting with it quite a bit. And um, like I said, you know, you're getting 85% of the knife for a third of the cost of that ProTech. And these are readily available, whereas if you, I don't know of any retailer that still has the um, Malibu in stock. And when they do come in stock, they're usually there for a couple hours or maybe a couple days, but never, never longer than that. Um, so these are pretty hard to find. And when, when one does come out, you got to make sure to grab it um, before they sell out or you're not going to be able to get it. And so these are readily available at a reasonable cost and um, I think just an excellent knife. I'm super excited to kind of carry it a little bit more. Um, spend some more time in my pocket, but overall I've been very, very happy with this and um, would definitely recommend it if you're interested in checking out a button lock. Um, this is an excellent version of one and uh, super happy with it so far. But let me know in the comments below if you have this or any of the other um, Civivi button locks. I picked up one other one. I know they have the Elementum button lock and a few others. Um, if there's any that you would recommend me check out. Um, but thanks so much for watching. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great one.